There's only one way to lasting health, to true health, and that's by allowing your body to do what God intended it to be capable of. Detoxification is the natural art of your body's innate ability to heal itself if you allow it. The following video will give you information on how this works. Hey, so after watching my previous videos, I realized there's not really any kind of definitive answer to what the questions could come up when somebody is trying to take a detoxification lifestyle and put it into action. There's so many questions for somebody who has no idea how this works and that can be hard for me to answer on a video I make off the whim about my urine because you have to understand if I've been at this for three to four years I'm gonna have a lot of knowledge that a beginner won't so for me to go back to what it is to be a beginner is uh, that can be a challenge because uh, just like anybody who is more advanced you may have forgotten what it all the questions and occurrences that happen in the beginning of a detoxification so what I'm gonna do for you right now what I'm really gonna do for all the people that want to know for the people that want to understand detoxification who at this point have no clue this video is for you. So the first thing you're going to need to understand is that detoxification is the art and science of cleansing the body in a way that is conducive for health. So that sounds like an oxymoron, but the truth is there's a lot of methods of health that are not healthy for the human body. In fact, it's counterproductive for health. Uh, that being chemo radiation or other, other means of invasive medicine. Anything that is invasive and is man-made is going to cause you more harm. Now, with that in mind, with the idea of nature in mind, look around you. Let me see here. Let's look around. You see this forest here? That's nature, okay? That is nature. You see these chairs in front of you? Although they are a product of nature, because man is part of nature, it is not nature. God did not create it. You see those dogs? God created those dogs. God created those plants. God created your voice. God created you. God created anything that was here and man didn't manipulate. Now, why detoxification is coming into play and why it is becoming very important and a necessity for human survival and health is because man has manipulated so many different things in life that the organic nature of the human species and the organic nature of the earth in general is becoming toxic because man is like a child in a sandbox tasting his own poop. He doesn't understand what he has done or what he does when he plays with chemistry and splices in and does all these different things and scientific experiments that create more problems than good. Kind of like the way we work on a lot of the people in hospitals nowadays when we give them an acidic byproduct or an acidic uh, product that will create even more acid waste leading to more issues with a alkaline based species. Now this is what I'm talking about when I talk about uh, things becoming too advanced for those who may be beginners. If you are a beginner you're asking yourself what is he talking about acid and alkaline. Acid and alkaline is the is a chemical table or the it's, it's a chemistry side. There's two sides to chemistry acid and alkaline and all things on earth fall onto that that table it ranges from 0 to 14, 0 being very acidic, 14 being very alkaline. Beginners need to know what they're eating is causing a certain acid or alkaline effect on the body. When you go to the grocery store and you look at the, all the products that you could buy, you could buy the vegetables, you could buy the fruits with the stickers on them, you could buy the organics or the conventionals or the GMOs, then you could go to the cardboard packages, you could go to the pizzas and the Kraft macaroni and cheeses with all the different products that are there. But what is really labeled... <laughs> look at pizza for instance. Why is pizza called pizza? It is not pizza, that's just a made up word. Shouldn't pizza be coined the name that it really is. What it really does to the human body and when you eat it, what it actually does to you 
What are the byproducts? Shouldn't it be called, you know, acid crystals, arthritis, colon cancer, mucus, bleh, just disgusting disease producing form of food. It should not be in the grocery stores. There should be grocery stores for actual food. That would be a produce department. They should be completely separate. You should not even have frozen pizzas and all that crap next to the fruit department. No, uh there should be grocery stores that are just living foods and nothing else. That's what I'm trying to get at here is that anything you're eating that isn't living and that was not created by God, was not created by nature, the creation, is going against that flow and harmony of nature that will give you health. With that being said, that is really the focus of all beginners. You're going to have to understand that a fruit diet is necessity for you to reclaim your health if you want to dig, get, dig in and get rid of the mucus accumulations and anything that is accumulated as an acidic blockage that is occluding your system and preventing the flows of energy. There are three main energy flows of the body, the brain, or the, I should say the nervous system, the circulatory blood system, the kitchen of your body which gives you all your goodies, and then you have the lymphatic system which acts as the sewer system, also your mu immunity system. And all of these systems, if they function optimally, you have health. So we want to focus on these three systems, these energy pathways. But in order to clean the blood and the nervous system to get those two online, all you really have to do is focus on, that's right, the lymphatic system, which you all know if you are detoxing yourself, already know that the lymphatic system is the system that is compromised of your lymph nodes, your lymph vessels, the lymph fluid, and it flows into the kidneys, bowels, and any other eliminative pathway so it can be expelled from the body. Now, this is where a lot of people are failing. You are probably failing at elimination, and this is why I showed you the PP video, because that showed you what you should be eliminating in your urine. You should be eliminating all the toxins that you've accumulated in your life. So if your, mu if your urine is clear, then you are, are not in the clear. If your urine is clear, you should be sure that you need to be nearer to a mucus mucus in your, your urine. That just shows that you are eliminating. Now, why why aren't you eliminating? eliminating? It's because you've continuously bombarded your kidneys and your eliminative pathways with foods and accumulative foods that are acting as a blockage. Thinking of, thinking of your kidneys as filters that if you like the filter of your pool, if you constantly have leaves, leaves, leaves blowing into that filter, filling that filter, after a period it's not going to really act as a filter anymore for the, f for the larger particles that need to be expelled or expectorated. And that's where uh, eating fruit comes in along with herbs. That is a necessity. You do not just eat a fruit diet and expect this to occur. You can and it will take much longer, much, much longer, and you could actually do damage to your body in the process of doing a detoxification without herbs. Herbs are a necessity. They will assist your body and support it in the process so that you do not damage your body. The detox is easier. It's faster. It's more responsive and effective. These herbs act as the... Their job is to go to tissue-specific areas and really pull the lymph out and support them, clean them, and strengthen them. That is just how God has created Earth. Don't ask me how it's done. I am not God. I may be a product of God, but I am not God. God created trees. I cannot create a tree. No man on Earth can pre create a tree without already having a seed or a graft of a tree. That is why God is creator. That is why God created herbs that help man get well. That is why the fruit on the trees is man's best food because God created it. Man can only take things from God and make his own. We are innovators. We are not we are not able to actually create anything that has not already been given to us by God. So we are truly innovative. We are not really inventive because anything that we actually create is already on this earth created by someone else. Something else. God. Whatever name you want to give it. It. Let's just call it the all. Creation. The love force. The force of good. So with that being said, you're a beginner, you're sitting here, what do you need to know? You need to know that everything that's in your cupboards that has an expiration date that's three years from now is not to be eaten because when you eat those foods, you are also eating the sulfites or any of the food preservatives that will prevent your body from being able to compute anything in the first place. 
that's what this all comes down to, is that your body is an organic species and dis detailed and created to absorb and utilize and assimilate certain foods and certain products. And when man creates things that the body, an organic species, cannot compute, cannot assimilate, it will then block it or create, it'll protect your body from it by storing it in fat. Fat is the buffer for all types of acidic waste in your body. So when you have a lot of fatty tissue buildups, that means you have a high amount of toxins that are stored in your body. Why? Because your body uses the lymph vessels, the cholesterol, the fats as a buffer. Think of an acidic ball in your body the size of a grain of sand. If that hits the tissue, it destroys the tissue. So your body says, red alert, flag that, put it in quarantine, save it for later when we have enough energy to eliminate all this. But the problem is you keep eating things that give you an acid waste. So you build up more and more and more and more and your body can never get the energy. So it just keeps procrastinating on this job it needs to do, which is eliminate the waste in the first place. So if you really focus on a lifestyle that is more conducive for nature and what nature intended for you, what it created for you, then you will begin to have a body that works in synergy with your body, with nature, and with yourself. So that three, that trilogy, that, that trifecta there is going to get you to the top of the mountain of health, which I talked about. I talked about the fruit being the huskies and the, the ability of them to be able to assist you in cleaning and strengthening your body along the way. Well, that's exactly what they are. Herbs and fruit, herbs and fruit, supporting and cleaning and strengthening. Those are the trifecta, and that's how you're going to get well. There is no other way about it. You don't just start eating fruit, not if you're on a standard American diet, not unless you have no responsibilities, and you can, you can expect, what you can expect to occur is for your ass to get knocked on the bed and not be able to get up for a couple of days because at this point you may, be, may have been eating so many foods that are toxic and you have so many accumulations and your body is created from acid waste or acid waste materials that your body is actually not all that strong to begin with. So when you put a food group in it that it will start to pull on all the weaknesses of your body, you're really going to experience things that are not, well, to say normal health. You wouldn't think that having cold all day and having to lay in bed because you have no energy is health. But that's where you're wrong because when your body goes into healing, when a tissue-specific organ gets healed, you'll feel the pain involved. Just like when you have arthritis or you have swollen joints, maybe your body's retaining water. Well, that's because your body is trying to fight the acids in any way it can. There's so many, to, so much to this detox thing, and this is just a beginner. This is just me trying to scratch the surface and go back to what it is to be a beginner and how to actually understand where to begin. There are lots of resources that are a lot more informative and educational and accurate than I am. I am only regurgitating the information that I have learned myself, and that works for me, and it works across the board for everybody, but everybody's detox is different, so keep that in mind when you take care of your own. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, you can subscribe to this channel. I have another video sequence coming out very soon that'll be uh, with a friend of mine, Dimitri Manzer, and we'll be uh, we've created a video series that we're going to share with you guys. We're just in the process of editing and uh, formatting that. So stay tuned and we'll have more for you in the future. And for all you beginners out there, try and contact Dr. Robert Morris's YouTube channel so you can get the full in-depth information for your own details because these videos are more just to inspire and, 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 and inform people that there is a way to health that doesn't involve getting surgery or medication or any other means that is invasive and causing you further bodily harm in the first place because that's not what I want. I want everybody to be happy, lovely, and have a good day. This is Matthew. Take care. Talk to you later.